Welcome. In this lesson, we're basically going to review the concept of the four quadrants in the XY coordinate system. And what I mean by the four quadrants is we always label the top right quadrant as quadrant one, the top left quadrant as quadrant two, the bottom left is three, and the bottom right is four. So we go around counterclockwise starting with the top right. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> so what's going to ask us not just about points, but we're going to move into angles, which will be a good review of where you find radian angle measures. But right now, if X is positive and Y is negative, if X is positive and Y is negative, that's going to be down here. You're going to be in the fourth quadrant. And that's what it's asking you is what, which quadrant do you end up in? So again, if X is negative, that puts me to the left. And Y is negative, that puts me down. X is negative, Y is negative, less than zero, less than zero means negative left and down, that puts me in the third quadrant. Okay, if x is actually equal to zero, x is equal to zero, I'm not moving left or right, I'm on the y-axis. I'm on the y-axis. I'm down below because y is less than zero, so I'm down here somewhere on the y-axis. If the point x, y is in quadrant four, which of the following must be true? Well, if we're in quadrant four, x must be positive, y must be negative. X must be positive, that's not positive, that is, and Y must be negative, so it's this one. X must be positive, that's not positive, and Y must be, so it's not that one. Like I said, it's that one right there. I'm hoping we eventually get to the angles here shortly. If the point X, Y is on the X, is on the X axis, right? If it's on the X axis, then we're not vertically up or down, Y must be zero. Hopefully this is trivial for most of you. I'm gonna jump ahead. I'm going to get rid of the little quad. Okay, here we go. In which quadrant does a terminal side of a 350 to 315 degree angle end up? So again, I would always recommend that you have a little diagram here where this is 90 degrees or pi half radians. This is 180 degrees or pi radians. This is... 270 degrees or three pi halves radians and this is either zero or 360 or two pi radians so 315 larger than 270 smaller than 360 i'm in quadrant four and that's what you would click quadrant four here 135 bigger than 90 smaller than 180 so i'm in this quadrant here which is quadrant two 420 well i went around 360 do i make it 90 more well what's 420 minus 360 it would be 4060 it's going to be in this first quadrant so you might have to actually minus and get a remainder so 300 is in between 270 that's quadrant four and again, eventually, we're going to get to radian measure. I'm going to jump ahead. Hopefully, that will get us to the radian measure. Ooh, doing a negative angle. Negative means we're going backwards. So if you think backwards, here's zero. This is negative 90. This is, so let's, let's actually write that down. So if we are talking a negative angle, we're going in this direction. So this would be a negative 90 and a negative pi halves. This would be a negative pi, negative 180 when you get to here. Continuing in this clockwise direction, this would be a negative 3 pi halves or a negative 270 degrees. So a negative 45 would be in this fourth quadrant. So just remember that negative angles go in the other direction. So a negative 135, we're going to be in between negative 90 and negative 180. That's the third quadrant. A zero degree angle. Which ray is the terminal side of a zero degree angle in standard position? Well, that's the positive x axis. That's zero. That's this axis coming out this way, the positive x axis. Hopefully, this is making sense. If you have any questions, please bring them to class and I will help you at that point. 